Hello everyone, here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can integrate stamped review app in your Shopify store. So we will be displaying the reviews on product page, collection pages, and we will also add the main widget of the reviews. So let me show you step by step that how you can do it yourself into your store. So it is quite simple. So firstly, you should install the app. So I am here on my dashboard of the Shopify store and here you can see we have apps section. You should click on that and you can see here like I have installed stamped product reviews. So if you have not installed, then you should actually go to the apps and click on stamped product reviews and install it and then activate it. Once you are done with this, then after you should click on this stamped product reviews, you will be redirected to dashboard of the stamped review. And from here we will be doing all the stuff. So we also have a documentation, which is this one. We will be following shortly. So here we have the dashboard first. So I have installed down theme and if you have any other theme, then still this will work. So let me uh, start with this theme. I'm going to work on here. You should click on these three dots, click on duplicate. Once you are duplicating it, then you should click on edit code. And here we have some folders and files. So let's go ahead with the documentation. So firstly, they have given the steps like uh, how to install the app. So we already installed and now we are going to add the coding part. So here they are saying like if you are uh, interested to put it on collection pages, for example, I am previewing this store. So here you can see that we have a featured collection and if you are going to the collections and here we have like best sellers. So these are the collections. So if we are interested to display the reviews just above the price or maybe below the price. So how we can do that? So they have given the steps like you should copy this code and go to product dash card. So any of the card you should search. So for example, I'm searching card. So we have card dash product or maybe product dash card. So click on that. You should search here price. So for example, I'm searching here price and uh, it will be highlighted somewhere. Here you can see that we have price. So just above it, we are going to paste it. So you can see I have pasted that code which I copied, but here we need to do a minor change. Here we have product.id, but we have uh, here the variable name card underscore product. So you should copy and replace this product with uh, card underscore products here, product here and here in the, all these lines you should replace product with card underscore product then after you should click on save that's it and now the next step is uh, you should scroll it down and here they are asking like go to the dashboard of the store click on edit code and we have to open theme dot liquid so we are already in the coding part so you should uh, clear this search click on layout and here we have theme dot liquid and inside of it we need to copy this complete code here so click on copy code and then scroll it down to the bottom and here we have body closing tag just above this body closing tag we are going to paste this line of code okay uh, and here we also need to replace this your public api key with the actual public uh, api key of our uh, stamped reviews app so how we can copy you should go to the dashboard and here we have uh, settings click on api keys and here we have api public key so you should copy this key from here and then paste it inside of uh, this i mean you should remove this and then paste that paste that public key and then click on save once you saved then you can close this file and go ahead with the next step so the next step is like uh, we have to add it on our product page so how we can do that so we need to go to the dashboard and here we need to click on customize because uh, the product is on the customize so click on customize and here you should click on this drop down click on products click on default product and here we have to for example this is product information so we are interested to put uh, the stars somewhere here so how we can do that you should click on add block click on apps and here we have badge single so click on it and let me put it here and then click on save but before that you can see on the right hand side we have api key public and store hash so we need to go to dashboard again you should copy this public key and paste it right here and you should also copy this hash you should copy it and then paste it right here and then click on save so once you saved the changes then here you can see that we have the product reviews displaying on the top now the next thing is we have a main widget which we are interested to display here. So how we can do that? Here we have the apps. You should click on uh, add block and here we have apps. So you should scroll it down and here we have main widget. Click on it and it should display here. 
here we go now you can see that the all the reviews are displaying here whichever reviews we have uh, added so those are listed here now everything is done so let's see the overall preview like how it is looking so let's go ahead click on preview store and here we go here you can see that we have the featured collection so reviews are displaying here if we are going to the collections main collection for example bottoms so you can see that we have also the reviews here if you are clicking on any of the product on the top we have the product reviews displaying stars and if we are scrolling down here you can see that we have a list of all the reviews which we have if we are going back and if you are for example going to any other collection so for example best seller and if you are clicking on this product for example so here we go you can see that all the reviews are displaying here also and here we have the related products uh, so in these related products also the reviews are displaying so this is how you can actually implement this app into your store and it is quite simpler so if you are facing any issue or something you can ask me i will help you out in that if you have any new feature to develop then still you can contact me i will create it for you so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video so you can also follow me on tiktok instagram and uh, facebook i keep pushing the content over there and i have also a uh, whatsapp group you can join that so thank you so much once again see you in the next video